And we may have a problem with direct to film. Have you ever run into pinholes in your actual transfer? Well, this may not happen on every print. If you run a DTG for DTF or any sort of direct to film sheet printing, stick around. Esteban here with All America Print Supply, and in today's video, we're gonna show you one simple step on how to avoid this every time. Let us know in the comments down below what issues you're running into with direct to film, and if this is your first time on the channel, be sure to subscribe for more helpful tips. Let's talk about pinholes. Have you ever encountered bubbling, cracking, or peeling on your freshly made direct to film transfers? You know, after dialing in all of your printer settings, your heater settings, and doing all that work, it can be a little soul crushing. Why is this happening? The short answer is, you're working too fast. This can especially affect direct to film sheet printers who are working with larger images or bigger coverage areas of the ink, especially with darker colors. Think about it. In a roll-to-roll -roll system, how long does that freshly printed ink take to get to the powdering station? Let's say about a minute, maybe two minutes, depending on the speed of the printer. And if you think about it, most direct -to film roll sheet printers actually have a heating plate which will warm some of that ink so that it's not so wet when it gets to the powder station. So the heating plate in consideration, the travel time to the powdering station, and then all that agitation, there's got to be a communication here somewhere. Raise your hand if you've ever powdered your direct -to film print as soon as it comes out of the machine. It's coming down to an ink boiling issue. Under the high heat, the water in your ink is trying to evaporate, but because there's a barrier of that freshly laid powder on top, it has nowhere to go. So it's gonna boil and burst underneath. Pinholes. We are not here today to ask you to wait around twiddling your thumbs for minutes before powdering your prints. That wouldn't be very efficient. The best way to perform this process is like so. Once your printer produces your fresh, wet printed direct -to film transfer before powdering, pop it in your oven for about five seconds at full temperature. Now that we've created the optimum state of the ink for powdering, we can proceed through this step as normal. Boom, problem solved. Now it's ready for the oven. There we have it. As much as you may want to dive right into the powdering as soon as the printer produces your fresh transfer, drop it in the oven for five seconds at full temp. This little step will certainly save you time in the long run. If you have any questions on anything direct to film related, if there's any issues you're running into, go ahead and let us know in the comments section down below. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this one. My name is Esteban with All American Print Supply. If you've made it this far in the video, go ahead and drop a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more helpful DTF tips and tricks. 